guys, Coach Jesse Minch here. Got Coach Jason Shooty here. You might remember him from some of the tutorial and drill videos that he's done with us in the past. And, you know, a couple shoe reviews and whatnot. A little everything. Yeah, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. But bring you guys some things to help you today as far as improving your performance on the court, preventing injury, and just give you some insights and some sort of things that you can do to help improve your game. So let's get into it. Uh, the first thing that we want to talk about probably is Let's, let's start off to back at the beginning of why yes. all this video is happening. Yes. What happened about four or five months ago? It was October, so six months. Six months? It's crazy to think about it now. But yeah, six months ago I tore my Achilles um, playing basketball. I would like to say I was doing something cool, but I wasn't doing something cool at all. I just kind of took a step back and felt like somebody hit me or just heard a pop and it tore. Yeah. Um, full, full tear. I decided not to go to the surgery. Um, just went to the kind of self-healing, whatever thing that it does, um, and I was very, very glad that I didn't go with the surgery. You, and, and you said like you literally were just like in between plays and just stepping yeah, back normal, Yeah, right? really, really, I wasn't doing anything. Um, I've always been kind of bad about not stretching and everything before, so maybe that had a little bit to do with it this time. Um, plus, I'm getting a little older now. I literally was just watching somebody shoot. Um, which I always try to tell my wife that I could have been doing it at any point, not like <laughs> that she won't let me play basketball anymore. Um, but literally, I was just taking a step back and felt the pop. It, it literally felt like somebody hit me, and then I looked around and there was nobody around me. Yeah. So, and um, mine was the exact same way when I tore my Achilles. We both have torn our yeah. Achilles now. I was going up for a layup, landed completely normal. I actually watched video footage of it. I thought I landed on someone's foot or something, or someone yeah. kicked me. Nope. Yeah, that's how I felt. Did you hear like the pop? I didn't really hear, it? but I felt it. Yeah. It felt real pinpoint, like a like a nail, like yeah. a nail going into the back of my. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that was the really the most painful was at that point, and after that it was just more like inconvenience than, I guess, for anybody that's had it or is worried about ever having it. I mean, it's it's a horrific injury. It takes a long time, but it, the only painful thing I think is right initially. I think the other part of it is just the inconvenience of either being in a cast or being in a boot and being on crutches for mm -hmm. so long. So yeah, so then I did five five to six weeks on crutches, um, which I'm a teacher, so that isn't that easy to do. Mm -hmm. um, and then like three months in, in a boot, in a walking boot. So what do you think you could have done to prevent this injury? Um, probably more stretching. I, I, I probably think just more exercising and like just different types of exercising. My only thing, I mean, as I've got a family now and getting older, I just play basketball once or twice a week. Once I got there, I just played basketball. You know, I didn't stretch or didn't think about it. Didn't really think about the shoes that I wore or any sort of thing beyond just playing basketball. You know, because you kind of get that feeling like you're still 20 or something mm -hmm. like that. Um, but you just gotta realize that as you get older and start to get lo less in shape. I mean, I always consider myself pretty good in shape, especially for my age and everything, um, but just having to think about, and not only that, I guess that kind of propelled me to think about what I actually put in my body and all the stuff that I was you know, eating. Right. And stuff that probably isn't helping the process anymore. I agree with all that, and I think for, for me personally too, like I've noticed, you know, I, I feel like I could have prevented my Achilles tear if I would have been staying on, like, especially that day, my calves were really tight. If I would yeah. stay on foam rolling and stretching, like, I've noticed now, yeah. ever since I've been more consistent with those two things, mm -hmm. a lot of those injuries have gone away. Like, I, I don't recommend static stretching before you work out unless it's, like, a chronically tight area, sure. but more so after. But definitely foam rolling before, I've noticed sure. it can help loosen the muscles up, and I think that would have helped keep me from a six month injury might have helped you. Yeah, and that, and I mean, you can always play, you know, double that, like, like total opposite. I mean, I even had the doctor said you could have done the same thing walking down steps or whatever. It's mm -hmm. just, sometimes it's, if it's meant to tear or it's meant to, it's it's gonna happen no matter what you do. Yeah. So if you're, it's, it's hard, because you always want to go back and say, oh, I should have done this, I should have done that. But sometimes injuries just happen, it's just freak injuries. Where are we at now? What are we doing right so, now? So now I'm, I'm, I'm probably drive back about halfway through. Um, I was feeling really good, my ankle has been better. I just got out of my walking boot. Um, and as soon, like literally like a day or two, I got out of my walking boot, um, my shoulder started acting up because I was in my walking boot for so long and kind of doing like a hobble, you know, as I was getting out of that, that to now not have that and be back balanced. My whole back and shoulder was out of alignment that's one thing I talk, tell you guys about a lot, you know, you hit an injury in one spot, it doesn't just affect that spot, that goes all Everything. the way up the chain, so, you, yeah. so he jacked his shoulder up because of 
being in a walking boot from tearing his Achilles. So that's something yeah. to think about for you guys. Yeah, so it was really weird to go to my um, therapist and everything and well, how I was doing therapy for my leg and then I started doing therapy for my shoulder, which is it's total opposite ends of your body. But yeah, everything's connected and it just shows how much. So basically for the last three months, um, I've been, my leg's been fine, you know, not you know super 100%, but it's been comfortable and everything. But my shoulder's just now starting that three months to be over with that. I was doing chiropractor for twice a week. Um, my Basically my spine was all out of alignment from my shoulders down to my spine. So I was doing that twice a week. Now I'm on to about once a week to like every 10 days, but still getting realigned for that. And that was my first time ever with a chiropractor. And definitely I had a whole new respect for that profession and that like type of work. Cause it, it's crazy just to, I mean, you get so scared right when you first go in there and they're like, we're gonna do this. It's just like cracking your knuckles, but it's your back and it's your neck. <laughs> and it's like, okay. Yeah. So that that's a weird thing. Um, but now I'm kind of getting used to that and hoping to get, get off of that now so I can actually start now transitioning. Like it was just literally like two weeks ago when I actually started feeling comfortable like I could start shooting around right. start because with my shoulder I couldn't really get up a form to even shoot and everything and I coach basketball so this season was super super difficult for me not being able to show my players let alone movement wise but I can't even show them proper form or how to do left handed layups or something because that was a struggle for me um, so it definitely made me look at the game of basketball a little bit different uh, you know more from an observation point for sure so let's talk where we're at now as far as what we're doing so we got Jason, I'm going to be starting him, well he's already kind of started with a workout program and get him, which I'm going to be having something on gethandles.com if you haven't head over there, get your free work, ball handling workout, but this is going to be like a strength conditioning slash vertical workout, it's going to basically work on everything you need to become an effective basketball player with explosiveness, vertical, first step speed, stamina, conditioning, all that, strength, etc. So we're working on him with, with that, and then we're also going to be He's, he's just started yesterday an herbal cleanse, which uh, I'll put a link right here. Oh, that's right in front of his head. I'll be right there. We'll put a link right here as far as so where you can check out one of the videos on my uh, herbal cleanse. It basically, it's going to show you the before and after all that. So, and I'll also have a link in the description down below for a blog I did on my experience, like all the thoughts I had, all the things that happened to my body during it. But he just started his yesterday. So, yeah. what, where are you at right now as far as, you know, right before you started the herbal cleanse, why you went into it? Yeah, I guess, yeah, like backtrack to two weeks ago, I started messaging you and I was like, and I mean, obviously we do all our basketball stuff, but I know how great you are at fitness and knowing the body better than probably anybody that I know. Um, so I definitely wanted to go to you to get workouts and kind of help, I guess, because I know you're kind of dabbling in that into more now, which has such an effect on basketball or whatever, whatever right. lifestyle that they have. Um, but yeah, just started the cleanse um, yesterday. How I got to that, I don't know, I just eat really, really bad <laughs> and poor. Um, I got a family, I got two kids, I teach. Um, so really busy lifestyle is just I, and I like food. I just yeah. like and, and I like processed food, <laughs> on, <laughs> crappy food. Real quick on that convenience end of things, yeah. that's one thing. Like, how do you feel about like so? So I, you, he sent me a picture this morning. He texted me a picture yeah. like of all the like foods in your fridge. Yeah. Really, if you think about, it, don't you think most of yeah. that stuff's just as convenient it, it, if you it bring is. it with you? Yeah. Like, and I feel like that's just just like a like talking point that people. Oh, it's just convenient to eat crappy or yeah, eat, eat, eat unhealthy but it's really yeah, yeah. not that much I mean, I mean you could bring I mean, an apple anywhere yeah I mean yesterday I had like a banana grapes apple you know a How salad much that required? And really it's 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 probably less than the actual stuff that you process food and everything right um so yeah it, it, you cost just, less yeah yeah exactly. no cooking yeah and that's one thing I was surprised on too was the, you know, the cost of it was that much more right um, but yeah that's that's kind of why just because I, I know I've been super unhealthy and I've actually had some issues of, of like indigestion and um, heartburn yeah like and heartburn stuff like that um, that has affected me like um, a couple years ago um, I actually got to go into the hospital like for issues I didn't um, know about that. Um, with, with that and that kind of made me thinking about doing this last year I think when you were actually first starting 
you did your juice cleanse or whatever yep. like yep. that. That's when I first started to think about it. I'm like, oh, maybe I could get a juicer. Or maybe I could. And then it just year passed or whatever. Okay. And then, but then now that you were doing more of this stuff, I was like, oh, I think I'm going to do it now. Yeah. And, and definitely. Think and and I, think, I think with the injury and everything, it just kind of ties up. I mean, obviously, I would definitely recommend for you guys, or, you know, obviously, we would just to start. Just just give it a try. Just right. try, try new stuff. I mean, don't be afraid of um, trying new stuff like I eat have always eaten really, really crappy. And we were talking about that just the other day about all the candy and sugar and stuff mm -hmm. that soda and everything that we used to take and everything yeah. like that. And I guess it's just an effort progression as you get a little older, but yeah, the convenience thing yeah. is so and, weird and excuse. And I think if you don't, like for you guys too, like you think of it like, you know how we said we're doing it kind of when I was older, but if you can get that going when you're younger, that's gonna give you that extra advantage and that edge on the court. You know, as far as boosting your performance and, and getting more out of your yeah. workouts and whatnot, if you if you take it seriously, and you can just start off slow. I mean, it's not like a big like health thing, like you have to do a cleanse or anything like that. But just having the fruit in the morning, I, I did right. that anyways, and little stuff like that, like I didn't even think about. Like my dad really isn't that much different now. It's just like I'm not going to fast food and I'm, for this t ten days that I'm not eating, right. you know, mac and cheese and spaghettios every day. So. As far as like the eating eating fruit and all that, like, do you think that's been helping with the indigestion? Or yeah, that... yeah, and, it, and definitely I can feel like weird. It's kind of a weird weird feeling. It's not really a great feeling, but it's not a bad as bad as I thought it would be. Just like all eating fruits and vegetables, like you thought it'd be like, oh my god, this is gonna be so so difficult. But it's not that difficult. Yeah, and, and you still and have you, some eggs and, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you do feel just a little lighter. Like I. I, especially like in the last couple of weeks, it was spring break last week, so we ate out a lot and had a lot of crappy food. Um, just feel so lethargic, like and mm -hmm. mopey, and <laughs> whether it's at night or in the afternoon or in the morning, or now so I just- Take a nap for no reason. Yeah, exactly. Like, like yeah. I got eight hours of sleep, yeah. I'm still tired. And that's the thing too, like sleeping, sleeping better. Like I toss and turn a lot, a lot at night, and I'm hoping like this, this well, and last night it slept great. Okay. Um, and it, and it, it's it's hard to say, you know, what's what's what and everything, what leads to what if, if this has anything to do with that. But you know. So where are you at as far as like right before you started? Like we're gonna throw a picture up here too, so you can mm -hmm. see him before picture. And what, what was your weight at? Um, you I was saying? Uh, no, I don't care. Um, <laughs> I mean, I've, I've, <laughs> yeah, exactly. like I've always been around like one fifty five ish okay. uh, around there and. Probably in the last two, three years, like I was creeping off a little bit more to like 160 or whatever. Um, but I was at 163 or whatever. Okay. I mean, and I mean, that's obviously a lot of you might be thinking like you're still a pretty skinny guy, you know, and everything like that. But it's like I literally haven't done anything in the last six months and have, you're killing, and have yeah. still eaten crappy and yeah. everything. So, I mean, gaining seven pounds like is minimal for right. me. Or, but it's it's not only like the, the weight gain because I could care less about, I mean, if I, if I was 175 or something, you know, I'd gain 25 pounds, then I'd be a little bit more concerned. But it's just, I guess, energy. I don't have energy. I, if I do try to do anything, even going for a walk or anything, I'm tired and stuff like right. that. And it's like, I just want to feel better. Another thing to consider too is like, okay, seven pounds. That's not a lot, you know. Yeah. You're like, I'm not. Who cares about weight? Yeah, but, exactly. but for like you guys that are basketball players, yeah. imagine like you put a seven pound weight vest on your on your body. Yeah. You know, yeah. wear a weight vest once, try it out, and, and go shoot layups and dribble around and just see how much more quickly you get tired, how less explosive, how less yeah. high you can jump. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's that's basically what he did. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not on purpose, obviously, yeah, but you know, exactly. because, because he's, you know, towards Achilles, but like, think about that, how that's going to change your performance. Like, mm -hmm. seven pounds is a lot of weight when, yeah. when it comes down to basketball. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when you're, when you're thinking about athletes that are in a season or something, yeah. seven pounds, you know, you think about wrestlers, you know, that a pound or two, you know, this way or that way. Is a big difference. The milliseconds matter. So we're gonna definitely do a follow up on this too, as far as you know how the herbal cleanse went for him, how he's feeling at the end, and you know how he's, you know, sitting weight wise, some after pictures, all that kind of stuff, just like I did for mine. But let's also talk about real quick then, just to wrap things up, the the workout that yep. I gave you. Yep. So I gave him one of the three different workouts. I'm probably gonna get some more variations on each of those workouts, but basically there's gonna be a stability. Uh, slash, you know, balance type workout to work on, you know, preventing injury and just making you more, uh, it actually will help with your explosiveness and just, you know, being sharper on your feet and all that. Uh, so we're going to have a stability type workout to, you know, keep the body healthy and all that. We're going to have more of a strength and conditioning type workout to build your strength and get your conditioning up. And then an explosive workout to work on your vertical jump, first step explosiveness, you know, speed of dribbling, passing, shooting, all that. 
but we had him so far do the strength and conditioning work, but what are your thoughts on it? Um, I, I love it. I mean, that's one reason I always go on to you like, for workouts, just because they're so much different. Like, I had, had a pretty good workout routine that I felt like I've got results with before, but I just want to try something a little bit new. Um, one thing I always like about yours is that they deal with a lot, like you don't need a lot of stuff, like it's not going to the gym, I've never been a gym type person, some people love the gym, I just don't, I, lo I like your stuff that has just basically your own body weight, your own balance and kind of coordination worked into it and everything, that's what I liked about this. Um, well, yeah, same, exactly, you know? the stuff that I was doing, um, whereas now the stuff that I'm doing with, with the basic program, it's super, super challenging and you definitely have to start out even at some of the minimals to this basic workout and you can take it from there onto you know the actual part of the workout that it is because it but it's really it's really quick it's really easy um, and you definitely get get a workout I mean even watching the videos and everything um, you know they, they're just showing you how to do it and how to break it down and how to do different I guess varieties of some of some of the things but makes it look really easy and even before that I'm like Oh, this this would be a piece of cake. There's no, no problem. <laughs> and it's a twenty minute workout. Yeah, so exactly. Like, oh. And I knew it was twenty minutes, and I'm like, oh, I'll still do my other workout after it. Whatever. <laughs> like, after it through, like I was beaten, sweat, and everything, and which which is crazy. It was yeah. Like I just play a basketball game where usually I don't get, even doing my regular workouts that I felt like I got pretty good results. You know, in the yeah. past five to ten years doing consistently, like I didn't break that much of a sweat and everything. But this, yeah, it was definitely different. <laughs> my first time doing the workout, I, my, I was shaking. I was too. For yeah, like exactly. thirty minutes after the workout. <laughs> Exactly, yeah, yeah, and even like walking up the steps now or like reaching up, like I can definitely like just feel it in different spots um, that some of the workouts that I have been doing, which is good. It's a good, good feeling and especially for someone that hasn't done, got back into it, you know, for a while, it's good to feel that soreness and energy. It just kind of gives you more motivation that you know if you're sore, you're getting a good workout. Right. So then as far as like getting back onto the court and getting, getting you know, I mean, we're talking about, you know, getting the strength, conditioning, the diet there to get your weight back down and, and get you, you know, feeling right as far as, you know, your body goes. But, you know, that's more just, you know, being in shape. Let, yep. Let's talk basketball. What what are you doing for that? Yeah. So I, I haven't really, we, we do these training sessions where I'm, that's the only time I've really been on the court and with coaching, but I haven't been doing anything. Um, so. Before I even want to start getting into playing basketball, because I feel like if I go to a gym right away after an injury, like I'm going to be either timid and like embarrassed of myself that I can't do things, um, or I'll want to just go hard and be my normal self right. when I'm not. And I'm sure some of you guys can relate to this if you ever had an injury. Exactly. You, don't, you don't want to embarrass yourself coming back and you don't want to hurt yeah. yourself. So, so it's kind of a weird position. Um, so I think one thing I've been doing a lot is just freestyling and just dribbling at home a lot more than I like ever have. Just like using that almost as almost like a warm up or a cool down to like a workout, like just because there's a lot of body movements, a lot of it's more like a cardio yeah, almost. It's joint Because I, I don't have like a treadmill or I don't really want to go running outside. Uh -huh. um, but I feel like just freestyling, just whether it's dribbling or doing different dribble combos, um, a lot of stuff that we talk about in our clinics and on the tutorials and everything. Just doing that stuff at your home. I mean. Doesn't necessarily you need a gym or anything, just in your basement or your garage. Right. Um, I feel like that's been a really, really good workout, and it's made me a little bit more comfortable and I guess agile, like that I can do more motions and everything before I actually transition to start getting on a court. I and think that, yeah, I think that I think that's been a cool thing. And freestyling is just fun, something yes. I don't get too much of a chance to do. So when you say freestyling, you say I'm just like freestyle dribbling, or are we talking tricks too? I think tricks, tricks and everything too, just to have fun with it right. and everything. Yeah, and I, I think that's one thing that's important, you know, is I think my channel is different from pretty much everybody on YouTube as far as talking about, you know, your basketball training, whereas I I say, hey, you know, some of the illegal street ball type stuff, like, it can develop your game. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, oh and, and, and not even just necessarily with, you know, like, giving you go-to moves, because on, on the freestyle tricks, you can't do in a game, but it develops your body awareness, your coordination with the exactly. basketball, your balance, yeah. and just, like, for him getting back into it, getting the yeah. coordination back, and... and all the ways you move your joints that you normally wouldn't, it's just good for joint mobility. Yeah. And one thing, like we like we haven't talked about this too much, but I've I've never been like the freestyler that he has. But ever, ever since I like started like five, ten years ago doing this, like my left hand is so mm. much stronger. My off, off, off hand, I should say, yeah. is so much stronger. Just from doing freestyle, just from, you know, you do all the different motions and you don't want to just be doing all the freestyle. Because it looks, with, with, it with looks bad so on camera, you want to look cool. And it's like <laughs> every time you try to learn something new with one hand, you've got to do it with the other hand. Um, so it's like just doing stuff with that, like has made my 
just ball control is so much better. And like you said, you can't do those moves in the court, but that's that's okay. It's still, you're learning and you're developing your brain into kind of muscle memory almost right. a little bit different. And to think than more you would spontaneously just, too. Exactly. And, yeah. and, and that's one thing I tell players too, like I've heard some, some people say like, well, you can't do that in a game. And I'll say to them, well, since when are you going to bring 200 pounds and squat it on the basketball exactly, court? Yeah. And that's not, you're not going to say that's not going to help your game. I mean, think of, I think of freestyles like like weight, how weight training is for your strength and, and vertical. Freestyle is like for your coordination. To you know, it's like it's like weight training for your coordination yeah. and, and your and yeah, body I mean, balance and, and your all, awareness. All the and freestyle moves and everything are still geared off of behind the back. Of a between the legs. It's a very advanced off variation. Of, off of balance or of fundamentals. Know, exactly, and coordination and combination. So, yeah. well, uh, what, anything else you've been doing as far as basketball getting ready or just pretty much freestyle? No. Yep, just pretty much freestyle okay. at, at home and everything. And one thing, probably in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to start transitioning to just going in the gym by myself because that's a hard thing for me too to just get in the gym by myself before actually going into a competitive group because you get those competitive competitive juices kind of flowing when you get a bunch of guys together and everything and you want to go a little harder than you're probably ready, ready after an injury or everything but just getting back to the basics just start shooting around just doing little drills that we talk about in our performance like our tutorials and um, our, our clinics and everything, just doing little drills, you know, from the three point to the free throw, from, right. you know, everything like that, full court dribbling and everything right. like that. Yeah, it takes a little while to get back in the swing and all that stuff. Uh, that'll wrap it up, I guess. Uh, like I said, we're gonna do a follow up on this in about 10 days or so, you know, a little bit after the cleanse, just to get his thoughts after the cleanse, how the workouts are going, all that. And of course, give you guys some more tips, information, things on uh, all that kind of thing, as far as how to improve your performance, prevent injury, all that stuff. So thanks for watching as always, thanks for, hooking us up with some insight into in your situation, your experiences and all that, Jason. We appreciate that, man. Um, if you guys haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Got any questions on anything here, or just anything you want on the channel, leave it in the comments down below. Hit that like button, did I already say hit? I'm not sure. Hit the subscribe button if you didn't yet, too. To make sure you catch these latest tips, tutorials, drills, interviews, all the stuff I have you for you guys to help you improve your games. And if you haven't yet, head over to gethandles.com. You can just click the link in the description down below. That'll get you a free workout to help you boost your performance in games, your speed, your explosiveness, your handles, of course, and all that good stuff. It's just free, 100% free. You just pop in your email, and I'll send it to you right away. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Let's stay on our grind. <laughs>